Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie and Zidane. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this next match is going to be on Trojan Hills between Guyop and Don. And Don apparently is actually pretty happy with this match. So I'm curious. Guyop going for the Cloakybot Factory, and Don also going for Cloakybot because Trojan Hills is a map where you use Cloakybots on it. Always. It's pretty much Cloakybot versus Cloakybot, or occasionally you get gunships, but rarely. And sometimes you get shields, but usually on this map you get cloaky bots and that's about it. So, a couple glaze for Don, a couple glaze for Gayop, and that's going to be just a bit of early scouting. Actually, oh, no, 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 Don going for stakeout over to the southeast. And that's a good idea because Gayop is going to be expanding over in that direction. While Gayop also staking out the northwest, so staking out the analogous positions. But Gayop's going to stop Don's stakeout. Don sees, or Gayop sees it coming. I don't know if they had vision or if they just... It was just map awareness or game sense. Well, Guy Up, on the other hand, they do have their stakeout already in place. So they were a bit faster on the staking out. While Don, on the other hand, now trying to go for straight assault because they can't easily set up a glay for stakeout. And Guy Up going around the back to see what they can pick off. Nothing really. The defender would stop them. But they're not going for that. They're going to try to stop this area from being built up at all. Now, where is... Ah, there they are. There's Don's stuff. So Don going over here. Not... Oh, no, actually not being stopped. Don going for an entire backyard assault. Oh, man, if they get rid of this... Are they going to get rid of this worker? If they get rid of the Conjurer, it's going to be all worth it. And Don does not find the Conjurer. Looking around, not looking at the map edge. Nice spread. Although, unfortunately for them, not seeing the Conjurer, as a general rule, and okay, there we go, now they're figuring out where to go. I mean, they didn't find it, but still, that was actually really done, that was good. The thing is, people will typically move Conjurers over the edge, or over off to an area that is an effective edge or a cliff or something. They usually don't move them just randomly in the center or some other random spot. Typically, if you don't, if you know a Conjurer should be somewhere but don't know where it is, it's probably near the map edge. And that's the first place to look. Which admittedly might have already been done, and Don might have been thinking, Oh, Gaiop's not going to do that. Gaiop knows I'd look there. I'm going to... I'm guessing Gaiop's going to be going somewhere else being clever. But no, Gaiop actually went for the basic strategy of putting the Conjurer in the map edge, and it worked this time because Don was thinking, Hey, that's probably too simple. Or probably Don was thinking, That was too simple. I, that can't be where it is. They're off here. It's like, nice little mind games. Conjurer mind games are kind of an interesting thing. I mean, they're, they're a small part of the game, but they're an important part of the game. Especially, I mentioned before, if workers are killed in a harassment attempt, that is a massive deal. Like, that pushes back the expansion by a minute at least. Which, for a game where game lengths are typically in the 5 to 15 minute range, that's a lot of game time that's being wasted on nothing being built. So getting rid of workers is a massive blow. You always want to do that if you can. And in this case, of course, Don... Well, didn't manage to do that. Got... Deflected by Guy up, but still managed to get some harassment in still even with a commander over there. Wow, that is ballsy Those glaives are some brave ones there that I mean that worked too, but wow They could have easily been killed if that commander had a riot gun or had I guess a machine gun either Or anything that increased range at all like those glaives were so close to death They just weren't quite close enough and done Deflecting Guy Up's assault fairly well. At this point, Don, actually, I think, is being really, well, not that ballsy. I mean, they have a warrior coming up front. They don't have anything defending, though, and they're basically relying on being in the right place at the right time with their defenses. Like, the warrior here, it's the only thing that's currently defending, or was defending, the north side. Now, at this point, nothing is. The commander was kind of defending one of the lanes that could come into it, but that's, that's no longer the case. There's a defender here, but at this point, that's basically just a sentry. That's not actually going to stop anything. Not enough. And other than that, there's not much. Whereas Don, on the other hand, has to deal with a lot of defenses. Guyop's building defenses everywhere. Don only has a couple defend defenders. Guyop has three Lotuses, three defenders all around the map. This is a much different situation, but that does mean Don has a lot of room to build up and to expand. As much as Trojan Hills allows for that. Oh, and the commander getting surrounded. I think this is going to be death. If Guyop doesn't move... Oh, yes, this is it. This is it. Nice. Don killing the commander. Four Glaives, new low record as far as I've seen. Best I've managed is six. 
Although that was actually with like four glaives alive at the end. But still. Nicely done with four glaives. Good micro there. So Gaiop's commander's down. Don's command, on the other hand, is quite healthy and rather forward. And Don's commander has actually been upgraded with a riot cannon and field radar, so they do know when stuff's coming. Actually, is that... That's not the only radar. There's another radar inside the base. Guy up on the other hand, has got... A radar in their main base, but that's about it. Didn't upgrade their commander, as far as I could tell. So, wow, I guess I was actually wrong about the glaives being close to death, because that was the same number of glaives that attacked the mechs. Engineer commanders. I think they're tougher than recon comms, but I guess that didn't really matter in this case. And Don just slowly pushing out. At this point, Guy up getting choked out of the left side. The right side's still fairly open. It's been staked out, but it hasn't really been established at all. And Guy up does have the center. But Don's just coming in with the sneaky assault through this one hill over the eastern side. A sneaky assault's over there, and assault's over down here. I mean, there's enough defenses that it's not too much of a problem, but with the Zeus coming in from Guy up, I mean, Guy up's going all Zeus now. They're not even bothering with Glaze, but at the same time, Don just going around the back, ripping apart everything. I mean, Guy up has just not managed to set up a really strong position. While Don has so much... That's actually... They need to get energy at this point. Sheesh. They're accessing metal. Just for how quickly they've expanded in this entire game. There's been nothing in their way. Or just about nothing in their way. Guy up has... And this is kind of surprising, too. I mean, this has really been a matter of Guy up just going more for heavier assault units and trying to push out defensively. While Don has been doing a lot more ballsy offense, a lot more raids, a lot more glaze running around the map. And it's paid off. Which is kind of sad for Guy up because, I mean, look, there's no defenses back here. Don's been entirely naked in the back. One glaive going around the back. One glaive that avoids everything up here would rip apart got Don's entire economy. Just at a stroke, a glaive would tear it to shreds. But that's not what's happening. And instead, Guy up sending a lot of heavy assault forces. A couple Zeus's staked out right in front of this commander here. A couple sides as well. Looks like they all want to come in and deal with it. Not much else, though. A lot of sides coming in, which I guess Guy up doesn't realize there's not a lot of defenses over in the back, so one glaive could deal with all this. And I can see why, but still, it's like... You can just send one glaive to scout it out, but I think Gaiop is so focused on the front line. They don't want to take their focus off the front line. They don't want to take their focus off the commander. They have a potential commander kill coming in here, and Zeus is coming in. The commander is walking into the Zeus. This is not what they want. The commander needs to get out of here, but unfortunately, it is a siege commander. It's only so far it can go. And a couple more shots. Unfortunately for the Zeus, gets knocked off of the cliff. And down into the ravine that Zeus goes. Wow. That's a thing that happened, folks. I was actually already kind of spoiled on that happening, but still, that's a thing that happened. That Zeus got knocked off. I didn't even realize that... I guess that could happen. Yeah, there's no reason it couldn't happen. I mean, it's not bot pathable, but, you know, they can fall. Although another side's coming in here, which... Is it going to die? No! Nice shot there. Wow, and Don just... Like, after that last thing, I mean, really... I feel Gaiop was a bit too focused on the commander. I mean, it was kind of amusing. It's really disheartening to have that Zeus get knocked off. But really, there's... There's no reason not to scout. I, I often say scouting is a thing to do, and I know I don't always do it myself in my games, but it's a thing to do. It's always a good thing to do. Even when I don't do it, I regret not doing it. And it's always a good thing to do, because you never know whether or not your opponent, unless you've checked, whether or not your opponent has defenses up, or what defenses they have, or how to get through. And at this point, it it really was the wrong choice to not go for the back. But I have no way of knowing that, because they didn't they didn't see. They had no vision of that area. They didn't send a glaive back here to see what was going on, see if there's anything going on there that they could have dealt with. Anyway, so that was that and the next match is going to be maybe Gaia redeeming themselves because that was Don redeeming themselves versus Aquanim on Kaleo that'll be up in a couple minutes so stay tuned